Good morning, everyone. This is Anne from Odulcina Scrap. I am back this morning just for a quick overview of a new digital kit that I've created. And it happened that I, I've i put my uh, cover uh, on top of the new paper and I just fell in love. They match so well, the green and everything. So I could not complete my the inside of my journal, the Slim Long Journal, without having my new kit ready. So I've been working on that kit. So right now I'm going to show you the kit first. And then the next video will be doing the signature using some of those pages that matches perfectly with my Slim Long Journal. So I did a mess on my table, but that was for, for your eyes to see. So this is my main, um, my main page from that kit. So let me show you, before I show you the kit, how it all started. Claire give, gave me some really old papers that she found in a thrift store, I'm guessing. And I just scanned them with a good resolution and I played with that. So these are the originals. And uh, look at this one. It's, it's a huge one. It's really, really big. So, um, and I just love it. And we have, I have that one too, that I've been using. They are the cover of um, music books. So here you go. This is how it all started. I scanned the original and I scanned a bunch of my laces doilies and um, removed all the background so I can add them to my papers. But I wasn't sure that I loved that little girl. She, she kind of looked to me a little bit like a phantom. So I kind of removed it. I decided I would just remove her. And that page is gorgeous. But in the kit, you have the original. Because honestly, it doesn't cost me really that much to put both. <laughs> And then this is the music sheet that you, do you recognize? This, oops. This, this here, it's the background there. And with a, a doily. So this page is gorgeous as well. I just love it so much. This here, it's that, um, it's this one, but I didn't like this part here, so I played a little bit and I modified it. And somehow it turned out a little bit more bluish than black. I don't know if it's my printer or what happened, but uh, I love it. So there's a bit of green, beige, bluish black. This is a great one too. And then this this was just a music page, all folded like that here. I love it. So I added my doilies. I I I took like a day, a whole day to scan like tons of doilies. So slowly you're gonna see them in my new kits. And then I played a little bit with the colors and I did a touch of green. So you have both choices in the kit. Then you have those two pages. It's just a plain music sheet with all the folds of the old papers. And I wanted to add the doily. So I added the doily, but I, in the kit you have a version without the doily. So you can write down something there or add like a fussy cut flowers or anything. So you have both. So you have some choices. This one, again, I played with adding some white doilies, but when I played a little bit and did some beige one, I didn't know which one I preferred. So I've put both. They are gorgeous. Now I needed some ephemeras. So it's the backgrounds and or the doilies. And I made them just cards to 
do a cover or decorate pages. You can do a booklet out of this one, fold it into two. And just those rulers to fill the gaps. Now, I have that lady. I just love it. And it matches perfectly. So I did a, a mini series and it's part of the same kit just for you to have fun if you want that lady. So I created those ephemera with or without. This is just a smaller version for those who are not, who do not really know how to print smaller. It's, it's a ready to print page for ephemeras, but you have the full versions. So I've created, it's the same page that you have in the kit, but I've added the lady, I changed the doily and um, so this one has the, the lady, the Victorian lady and this candle. This one is just the Victorian lady. And then that's, that's another kit that I'm going to show you right after of coffee stain papers with doily or without doily. So I've put the lady on the other side to make a little change. And I still provide the full version of those Two pages. I don't think you you will use them like that, but at least if you have the big version, you can resize and print to the size that you want. And I've created a background page that matches the dress. So it's a lovely floral pattern. I love it. And then I wanted to create some pages that are not big like that because honestly when I do my journals I don't know what to do with a page that is big like that with like a big lady uh, unless it's the middle page um, so I've created two well four pages those those okay, okay I'll show you one by one this one with the music sheet and this one with another music sheet and they are already, like when you print, you print the page, they're already both together and um, of that size. So I've printed them on coffee stain paper and on that old uh, printer's uh, paper, the one, you know, you have all the holes on the sides uh, because they come they are all attached together so look at that and the back like so you can create you can print on special paper and then you just cut with a ruler if you want the edges to be not as clean cut as with scissors and it's kind of a letter format a small letter format perfect to add into a pocket or into an envelope it's kind of a smaller version so I added that to the kit. So now let me show you the coffee stain paper with the doilies. Okay, so another kit that I did is scanning my uh, papers that I've coffee stained. Ah, uh, With time, I'll have more choices. Right now, these were the ones I had uh, in my stash. So. I'll just go through quickly. This one has kind of a grid and it's perfect for when you want to print at the back of something or a quick, uh, a quick page and you don't want it to be too busy with patterns. This one, there's kind of big flowers and a grid. I love it. And this one like they have all their, they're not perfect, but the, this is coffee stain papers. So with some pattern, they kind of look real. So if you print those on coffee stain paper, like right now they're just printed on white paper, just basic white paper. But if you print those on coffee stain paper, they will look awesome. I can tell you. This one is my favorite. You, we have all the stains and yeah i love that one so much you can even create some envelopes with that let me show you right after and this one it's one that has um, um baking paper on parchment paper baking paper or whatever kind of paper 
the coffee stain. And I did a bunch with doilies, but let me show you an envelope. So this envelope, I've created it with the, the first kit that I showed you with the music paper, but I just took a white page. So you could do, you could use those papers and do the same and do an envelope. And I just glued the sides. I didn't even sew it. And I backed it, the inside to cover the white. I just used some tracing paper that has been coffee stained and I just glued all the sides before flipping here, like, and gluing the back of the envelope. So look at that. It contains gorgeous stuff. Anyway, this will be in my shop eventually. <laughs> but right now, it was just to show you that you can take this collection and create wonderful envelopes with. Now, I take my same papers, but I added the doilies that I've cleaned to make them like transparent. So this one is kind of the grid with some really vintage doilies. Same again, you're going to recognize the patterns of the coffee stain papers and some doilies. So sometimes I didn't know, like those two, they have the same doilies. I just changed the background and I love them both. So in your journal, maybe you can switch if you want to put both on the same in the same journal, you can maybe switch the side. So that background, and then I changed to another doily. So like this, and another kind of background. Do you see all the little details in the patterns here? This one, I love it. So feminine, so pretty. This one too, I love it. I don't know which side I prefer, maybe like that. You have all the grid and the background and that doily is just gorgeous. So the same doilies, but with another background, which is awesome too. And this is another doily. And this big doily here. And I think this page would be folded into two, so you just see half of it at the same time. And then as a bonus in the kit, you will have some of the pages with colored doilies in the pink and in the green shades like that. So these are, you have eight of those that they are the same. You have them in white or beige, but I just played with the color and provided you some colored version in the kit, just, just so you have more choices when you're doing your journals. So um, you're gonna see me playing with those, uh, with those papers in the next videos. And then I'm gonna start again to do some tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.